Okay, so in this uh, little mini series, looking at learning about loss. So throughout the last two weeks or so, um, I've had games where um, the losses have occurred and where basically could have won, didn't win. The lines weren't taken, correct movement moves weren't taken, strategies were um, all to kaput. And these are the types of games, as mentioned in the development of the answer process, these are the types of games that, if not used correctly in terms of analysis and then correct evaluation of that analysis, then application of that analysis, then there's no further development in my game. So what I have to do is um, look at all of the scenarios in which I'm playing these types of games and especially me as a person looking at how I'm emotionally feeling in the game what are the what's the environment that I'm in um, when I say environment yes it might be in my own house but the environment actually online as well so that type of environment as well does impact on the way that you're thinking what you're actually doing during the game are you listening to music are you drinking coffee are you actually thinking of something else are you thinking of another project um, are you celebrating something and you know your brain's not 100 percent actually involved in the in the game <clears throat> so there's many many <clears throat> many many factors are you comfortable in your chair yeah um are you happy actually playing the game at that moment in time do you really want to be playing it all of these factors fall into place when you're actually playing a game of chess or actually doing any sport or hobby because if you're not invested in it then you're not going to really get much out of it natural ability will take you so far but then after that then depending on the level of person who you're working with or against or etc etc um, it's not going to pan out too well for you if they see these weaknesses and take advantages of those so learning about loss is not just learning about oh yes i lost and well yeah i'll have a quick look at the evaluation yes 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 and not actually taking any action on it but look at the environment that you're in first of all before you start really being critical about your moves majority of these games that I've played here um, where the losses occurred for me my environment was okay in terms of I was happy with the seated arrangements um, happy with the location but on the other side of the coin my concentration was not fully on so these games that I'm analysing now are basically where my I would class as the side of the brain that is artistic creative and fully functioning for actually performing I would say operating at around about 45% so it's coming in with almost a blase attitude of right okay let's just see what we can do without actually thinking yep and I've mentioned this in my personal blog in that ideally my ideal position within chess would be to be able to just do the moves without actually thinking a state of natural naturalness yeah or unnatural naturalness yeah to basically be able to just do it without thought so that's where I'm aiming towards so within these games when i'm listening to the music or i'm just chatting away or um i'm looking like i'm concentrating but i'm genuinely not putting 100 percent in because i'm just trying to practice this unnatural natural listener so that i can just relax and chill and focus on myself and any other new ideas that i can bring to the table and this is where the failings come in and so that's where my understanding is that that keeps me comfortable and like i'm constantly still playing chess 45 percent of my creative brain being utilized i really need to get it bumped up to 99 percent to get it to 100 percent without actually having to think about the moves so let's have a look at this game here and i've not 
um, gone back and had a look at any of these games this is the first time that I'm looking at them so I'm going to be as shocked as yourselves when, when I see some duff move or whatever it is but I've kept these suggestions for the lines for the computer to show so as we're working through you may see the green lines popping up and that's the computer's um, idea of the best move type thing okay and it will show the worst move for us if we make a worst move okay losing my voice <clears throat> so we push through the center as usual brought the knight out no issues there we do have the gauge bar as well at the side here which um, basically shows us uh, the state of play push through the center as normal so feeling fairly comfortable with this type of uh, position then they bring the queen out I'm always a bit wary about the queen move but I uh, just won't, don't want to lose any tempo and we grab the knight it's saying it's okay it's giving us a star but it probably we would have preferred to come back here yeah you see I'm not I'm not really a fan of keeping the pieces on the board as much as possible because of what we went through um, within the bubble constrictor um, era so it's saying that moves okay so we're not going to get too twisted about that bringing the bishop out and it's giving us a star for this as well okay um, again usually feel a little bit uncomfortable bringing the bishop out to um, support a pawn so it's acting as a pawn it's not really aggressive um, I do like bringing it here majority of the time because it has this subliminal type of attack here on the king area and also if they push through with the pawn then you can open up and then just put pressure onto the king that way but that's okay so the computer feels that's okay now the bishop's coming through now attacking this pawn here so with castle doesn't seem to have an issue with that i've been bringing the queen out of, as of late as well attacking the queen now the knight's down so this at this moment in time my brain would be thinking oh it's coming now already for my king side so snapping up the knight problem with that is um even the where the creative movement of this game here is the fact that this pawn could take and then he's got this open file here right in front of my king and he's already got his queen there so that again is not that's why it's got a question mark there it's like a, a mistake it says a mistake but the queen takes so and it's saying that's the best move for them so we bring the queen through now he's attacking the pawn on this side here and we block that off so i'm already in sort of defense mode as it is not really positioned too well and that's a blunder because of look at this look at that yeah all for the want of developing the knight because i would have thought well okay my rooks are getting strangulated all i need to do is just develop this knight out but i don't want to bring the knight here and it's saying bring the knight there don't want to bring it here because he's just going to take and then um, double my pawns up but maybe I shouldn't worry about that. So bringing that into the mental roller decks. This is me, you know, trying to be arty with myself, but without any thought, really. Yeah, so the queen could have taken. They missed the opportunity. <clears throat> oh, and it's all over. Oh, massive blunder. Oh, that's so ugly, isn't it? Look at that. Look at that. And the opponent didn't actually take advantage yet, I don't think. Ooh. Yeah, should have moved the knight. Yeah, still didn't notice that it was under threat. Captured. Ooh, big style. And the queen can still take. St can still take, but um, I've got an advantage. Mm hmm. Queen takes, but and it looks like we're still in advantage. Although our knight is under threat, but we we're now attacking their bishop. Bishop moves. 
and then finally we moved the knight but we didn't move the knight because the queen was on it we just moved it because we wanted to control manage this square as far as i can see ugly times right yep yeah, so it wasn't best play as we know so bringing the knight up now attacking the bishop queen can take the knight if need be so a lot of bad moves with the knight and i am a knight man so that is um, something to keep hold of quite nicely and captured here just need a drink so bishops down and we look to exchange so we're thinking there's nothing wrong with any of this type of maneuver because the bishop is attacking the rook it's also attacking the bishop but it's saying it's a blunder and now the rook attacks the bishop queen sorry um, big massive loss because the position is not going to be too good for us but we'll look to see if we can get that out of the way so natural unnaturalness not working for us in this game position play is absolutely shocking so we're trying to get some recompense but we're a minor piece down so it's not too hefty for us really so realizing at this point now it's going to be a long haul the opponent has to make a mistake of some sort so we're looking to trade down to make it a little bit harder for the opponent to work their pieces together bringing the king up attacking the pawn so to me it's a bit too late to the party really so we've got traded down so at least we've got less pieces to work with and i think tempo wise now i lose out here and really could just resign so looking to pressure these pawns but my king is going to have to think of protecting all of these areas he's not got enough space he's got a bishop he's got his king his king can start coming down protecting his pawn and we're going to lose the initiative because our king is going to have to move back we won't be able to make any more moves and then it's kind of like a zug swang thing and i think that was it wasn't it yes at that point there resigned because basically i'm just going to be coming backwards his king's going to come down and they'll just squish me you know get promoted so yeah that was quite ugly play from myself with the, especially with the early night move um really bad positional play but to me i think the early part of the game was the creative side of my brain does not deal very well with the threat of the opponent it goes into itself it doesn't really have a positive attacking framework it doesn't use the answer in the best way what it does is it says oh well the opponent's using the answer against me so i'm gonna have to defend as best possible whereas i should be focusing on developing my own answer throughout the game smallest of details i'm going to just go through the game just to explain what i mean as you can see the opponent is attacking so we're doing defensible moves we attack bring the queen through again attacking the defending the potential attack area that the opponent is creating for themselves so i'm losing tempo by behaving in this way that's the bad position for the knight as we know again defending there's no real movement towards developing pressure towards their area or their pieces we grab a pawn it's not beneficial for our position we develop the knight but it's not really a concrete attacking controlling man manipulating type of position we're now focused so much on defending the king area bring the knight through attack him our pieces don't really look like they're strong enough to actually attack anything so positionally doesn't look good all we're concerned about is the queen coming here putting checks on that type of situation so it's been defense 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 we try to get rid of pieces but 
at the detriment of pole position now we're going to lose a piece so that's the major part there and let me see what would I have done differently in this particular position so whose move is it it's our move isn't it yes yeah, so what could we do we don't want to we could go this way Wait, do we get the same situation yes we do because the rook can still come here so maybe we forget about this bishop and what do we do with this queen because his queen wants to come down here so if we went here then we block that off is that not a good thing yeah so that feels better because it's stopping the queen from coming here to come into this square little things like that it's nothing major but it feels that feels a lot better than actually getting the pin it's just basic move as well getting the pin from the rook and then we lose the bishop so that's what i mean by us being defensive we our creative brain doesn't really move forward when there's pressure towards the king area and we definitely don't find the best positions to actually defend off that attacking position that the opponent has so we need to work on that we need to practice the creative brain developing better opportunities to operate the answer because we do get into some nice positions you know i mean we got into a nice position there but it was the wrong position for the queen and it didn't allow us to develop so that's key for that particular game here so we'll look at the next one